Man, I haven't had cazadores in a minute, bro. <laughs> yeah, and it's smooth, bro. Appreciate My it. boy got a podcast going, so yeah, I've never been on one. one yet? Nah. Oh shit, on for shit. I'm, I'm yeah. glad to be the first. You know? Popping cherries, Poppin cherries yeah. over here. This, this is good, like BTS. Yeah. Show, yeah. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your boy Sick One. Tap in with Direct Shooters. Newest podcast about to come out. Y'all stay tuned. Let's get it. You are now tuned in to Direct Shooters, the newest podcast out. Yo, shoot that Yo, what's going on, people? Welcome back to another episode of Direct Shooters, where we talk about the relationship between artists and directors, the relationship between directors and entrepreneurs, and how important content is. So with that being said, I got another guest today, man, a real one. He's a barber. He's an engineer. He's an artist. Stay from the IE. My boy, sick one. What up, everybody? Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. We in here. That's right. We're that's right. right. Here, uh, enjoying life. Yep. Loving everything that we're doing today. We are engineers. Now we're starting to do podcasts and just uh, podcasts, man. Time to get live. Came a long way, like with everybody doing their own thing, you know? Oh, yeah, for, for sure. So, yeah, my dad. Yeah. My dad's funny. He, he was like, man, you're the first one I ever heard say podcast. Oh. And this was a couple of years back, bro. Uh huh. You know what I mean? And I was like, yeah, I've been wanting to do this thing, you know? And, we we talked about it off off air. Yeah. You know what I mean? About it takes a while to be able to like hustle your thing, hustle, hustle, but also mm-hmm. you need to make an income. Mm-hmm. You know, these are passion projects that we try to knock out and exactly. we try to find that time for them, you know what I'm saying? But we also have other priorities, families and exactly. you know, things to pay. But shit, let the people know, you know. I let could, the I already could. already gave told them who you are, you know what uh-huh. I'm saying? Sick one, but let them know who you are, where you're from and what you do. Oh, for sure. Mm-hmm. I go by the name of Sick One, coming out of Riverside, California. I am a barber. I'm also an engineer. I rap. I mix. I master. I record artists. You know, I um, I just do a whole lot. Mm-hmm. I do a whole lot. You know, it's the entrepreneur thing. Yeah. You know, like uh, I was always, I always had this in my mindset to where like you can't just be focused on one thing. You kind of got to have multiple ways of making money, and I decided sure. to try mixing and mastering at first. It didn't fall through like how I wanted it to, like going to get an internship. I was in Norwalk for like two years with my sister, and uh, I just missed home so much that I came back to Riverside, and not knowing that that affected my career path because in LA everything's in LA you yep. know everything's in LA like everything. recording you know artists everything mm-hmm. so I came back to Riverside and um, was trying to get an internship that didn't fall through so I then um, got into warehouse jobs like I started yeah. from the bottom like my first job was a warehouse job um, then uh, I was still doing music and since I never got an internship, I just decided to, you know what, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this for myself. I'm going to create my own recording studio. I started mm-hmm. recording the homies. I was always recording myself. So I started doing mixtapes for the homies. And yeah, bro, like I've came a long way with the knowledge of knowing how to mix and master mm-hmm. that uh, I still incorporate it in everything I do today. Like right now, I have a, my own recording studio equipment, mm-hmm. not my own space. That's going to come in soon, but you know, like Azel said, mm-hmm. we got priorities and that's to take care of home Yep, yep. before, you know, our passion. So this is a passion project. Mm-hmm. We are in a, we are in a space where we do got to put our passion to the side at times. And yeah, even though that's this the struggle, yeah, that's the struggle. You Literally, know? that's the struggle. And then only the strong survive. Yeah. You know a lot of I'm people saying? fall out. Only the ones that really want, like we said earlier, man, you got to love this shit. You really got to really love, gotta this, love shit. this shit. Because there's a lot of moments, and we'll get into it. There's a lot of moments that you want to fall out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you keep hungry, stay hungry, keep driving, keep driving, and mm-hmm. fuck it. You know, this is us. Exactly. <laughs> you exactly. know what I'm saying? No, nah, but for real, though. And you're right about everything being in LA, bro, for now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? For now. Because now, now it's we got to bring that out shit here. out here. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm, some I'm LA new people out here too. too. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Like, this is, I've been out here for about two years now. So, uh, 
getting getting a little traction. You know, we want to bring everything. We want to migrate from the LA thing, and mm-hmm. bring it out there. You know what I mean to the IE. Yeah. On, so. on that note, like I feel like even some people that are doing podcasts and, and speak about you know, different sections of California, mm-hmm. they throw in IE in there. Yo, okay. You know, they're, no, I feel sure. like we're getting recognized nah, y'all, how we should be. You y'all know? for sure, bro. And like, you know, you you mix great, bro. Like, Thank you. Your I music you. your music is fireful. I love the smooth shit. I think I hit you up a couple of times to be like, hey, yo, let's do a music video. Yeah. yeah and you're like, oh, I already shot one of that. Yeah. I said, fuck it. Well, let's shoot it again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You but, know what I'm saying? Because I yeah. was like, yo, we got this, this one, this one could go, fool. Yeah. It might even be the video that you're going to show me in a bit. Yeah, the family one. Yeah, it, it might be that. Yeah, um, because I just had a vision for it, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I was just like, "Yo, we need to handle that." You um, did, you did. I remember now. Yeah, I, and I told you, you I was like, you "Yo, did. bro." I mean, I know you did. You yeah, know, and I'm trying to not, you know, step on any toes or anything. Yeah. But you know, I want to. I kind of wanted to. Handle you wanted that. to like. I wanted to shoot revision, that. like want, a revision of exactly. it. Exactly. Ain't nothing wrong yeah. with that. Yeah, you know no, what I'm saying. Wrong you got to sometimes. No. You just got to go back to the drawing board and polish something. You know, but no, you definitely, you definitely are dope ass engineer. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Um, you went to school for that shit? Or? I, I did. I went to the LA recording school. Oh, okay. I was there, got my associates. It was like a year and uh, nine months program. Oh, I not think. too bad. So like almost two years and uh, graduated. It's funny. I graduated on the day they said the Aztec calendar, you know, the oh. world was ending. It oh, was, yeah, yeah, It yeah. was 12... I want to say somewhere on in December. That world was of 2012. Yours was just beginning. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Like that shit was. It was crazy. Like, that is crazy. So yeah, I actually said something on stage about it. It was funny. Oh yeah. Everyone started laughing and shit. It was oh, okay. Funny. Yeah, That's it was right. a cool little thing. So they knew what's up. Yeah, they 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 all knew. They were like, damn, are we supposed to freaking die today or something? Oh, like, sick. Everybody was talking about it. Sick it was ones funny. gonna bring them back. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Yeah. Nah, but that's dope for like you went to school for that shit because I didn't go to school for none of this shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I and I look up to people that went to school. Like my biggest question was always was like, did you like what did you, did you learn a lot from that shit? I feel um, like or is it something you might have you know, I'm did like on your own? In the middle of of the idea of did you mm-hmm. or did you not learn anything? Okay. I, I did experience, you know, going to LA and uh from going on a bike, I'm in Norwalk, riding to a bus stop, from the bus stop, going to the Norwalk train station. On a bicycle. On the bicycle. She. So now I'm that motor vehicle. On, on the green line, uh-huh. going to the red line. So you're taking the green line, blue line, and red line. And the red line, you're there's a stop where it's right in front of the Staples Center. Okay. And uh, it just goes down. It goes down into the ground like subway style. New York, yeah, 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 vibe. yeah, and it goes down. You end up on Hollywood and Vine. Mm-hmm. That's where I ended up being. You you go up straight to the top. You take the oh, stairs. Oh, you went to the real recording studio, yeah, yeah. LA shit. Yeah, I was in LA. It's and, my boy uh, Jada Hollywood. Went there. Yeah, yeah, I was in Hollywood. It was it was an experience, and uh, I experienced that. Um, man, LA is ghetto as fuck. <laughs> yeah, you LA is ghetto, my boy could tell me a gang of stories. Bro, like, there was times where I was on the train station. Someone was following me from fucking the red line. This is, like, at 10 o'clock at night. I'm trying to get home. I'm on my bike and shit. And someone was following me straight from the red line to the green line, like, Mm -hmm. where it's my last stop, where I get on the bus and go. And I'm like, I just couldn't take that chance. I just went on my bike and dipped home. Like, fuck that. You ain't fucking catching me, bro. Damn, that's crazy. You're not going to take my bike. You're not going to steal anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gone. Like I, I could get was home. Looking shady or what? Yeah, like just following me. Yeah, that's wild. But there was times where like the train station would break down, and I'm right there in the middle of Watts. Like, god damn, I gotta get home. Like, how the fuck am I gonna get home? What happened to the whip? You just had a. I, I had a. I was only. I was like. So you went to school when you were young. Yeah, I was like 17, going 18. Okay. So I didn't have a car Shit. until. My sister came through and sold me like a, a beat down 1992 Honda Accord. Mm. And I said, fuck we all it, that's what I got. Yeah, we all start with, we'll the, all start with the fucking Hondas. The fucking Hondas, yeah. bro. <laughs> For real, dog. I started with a Honda myself, 87. Yeah, fuck No it. shit, I think it might have been My 84. Shit. That shit was the one that blinked. <laughs> yeah. Like the fucking front end, dog. That shit oh, was blinking shit. at you because one didn't work. Oh. Yeah, bro. My mom gave me that shit. She said, put an engine in this shit. You can have it. Yeah. Fuck, fuck I, it. I hustle, I'm whipping. Some weed, yeah. Fucking boom. 
Yeah. You know I mean, he didn't even have a stereo, bro. I fucking had to put a boom box in the back. Yeah. I, was like, <laughs> I put the boom box in the back and then I thought I was dope banging that shit. That shit. <laughs> I could go and do that shit, bro. And the CD was skipped. Yeah, like ugh. I gotta reach way back there. Like fuck, <laughs> classic, bro. That's fucking classic shit right yeah. there. But Hell nah, yeah. trust me, I know the struggle. Yeah. So you've bro. been doing this shit for a minute, then. Yeah. That goes to my next question. Like, how long you been like being an artist or, or and inspired? Because obviously you were inspired you. at a young age. Got you. Oh yeah. shit! You know what's crazy? The most craziest shit that's going on nowadays is the whole SPM shit. Mm, what's, right, what's like you, you can't be playing this fool for nothing because of his case and shit. Okay, right, but this was at the time when I just I fell in love with rap, bro. He started making uh, my first album that I've ever heard was SPM, bro. Okay, like, SPM literally like inspired me to rap, bro. Oh, because right. he's Mexican and. I'm Mexican and I'm like, this is more dominated by black culture because yeah, sure. it is black culture, yep. you know, shout sure. out to them, obviously. And yeah. uh, it was just a way for us to uh, let out what was on our, our mind as a getaway from reality, you mm -hmm. know, like even though we're spitting real shit, yeah. but like I just felt like his shit that when I heard his album was when it was that Mexican radio song, you know, that shit. I don't know if you guys nah, ever yeah, listen yeah. to SPM. I can't, I can't but, think of any like titles, mm -hmm. but yeah, you put that shit on. I'm, yeah. I know that shit. Yeah. I, I, I've, uh, that was like one of the first albums I ever heard. Oh, okay. And that inspired me to rap. Cause I'm like, fuck, if he could do it, I could fucking do it. For sure. For sure. You know, that's but dope. the, the big thing that's going on online, obviously is case with the whole fucking, the whole, you know, that yeah. I don't even want to even say the word yeah, it's and all, all that shit. But bleak that shit out. Yeah, but the whole fucking uh, chomo shit, basically. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, I honestly I stopped listening to him because of after hearing that. Mm -hmm. But then I'm like, damn, bro, he had so many good songs, bro, that it fucking sucks. Yeah. You know, like damn, I can't believe it. Like he was kind of like our. Our fucking Tupac in a sense, in a sense, not saying he was. That's right. But like, I felt like he was like a top ass, big ass artist. And yeah. Shit. But no, I could dig it. Anyway, like he got me into rap. I, I got it onto SPM a little later and stuff like that. I was yeah, in I sixth was more grade. Into like a lot. Of I was East in sixth Coast. grade. Oh, okay. Sixth grade and fucking the homie gave me a CD. He's like, hey, fool, check this shit up. That's right. Fucking, we had computer speakers back in the day with fucking. This was. After the Walkman, uh -huh. but like it, with the disc. Now, now we got the CD player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I know where you at. So we, yeah, we, yeah, we got the CD player and we got the headphones. Got you. So like, uh, you know, Panasonic batteries. Yeah, throw yeah, yeah. <laughs> Throw throwbacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The mirror mix CDs. Yeah, bro. Yeah, like yeah. fucking uh, downloading shit off of uh, LimeWire. LimeWire and shit. Yeah, yeah. Napster. Like, Napster. Yeah. That's like, right. That was like my era right there. Got you. And. Um, you know, it's he, it's he crazy to say this right now. Oh, it's really ahead. crazy to say that because like there's a whole yeah. big yeah. There's because there's a shit. gang of artists that you could have chose. Yeah, I could have chose. Yeah, but, there's a gang of artists that you could have you could have picked and be like, oh, they inspired me. But I think for for what you're saying is more of like you know you could relate to them being Hispanic. Yeah, coming from where you come from, the exactly. streets that you come from, and things like that. So mm -hmm. shit, I dig it all the way, dog. You know, um, but he wanted you to be an artist and you were going to school for being an engineer. Yeah, right. So so um. I'll, off what well, I remember, what I was gonna say, I was yeah. saying, I was gonna say, I started writing, and in sixth grade. Oh, okay. So like my first raps were in sixth grade. Mm. I got into, uh, I carried it all throughout since sixth grade, bro. I've been writing. There you go. So you gotta I just mean, keep writing, and you want to get better. I, I would definitely also say, for the record, Tupac. I would definitely for sure. He's number one. Okay. So. For the record, that's right. You know? Yeah, now Tupac's definitely number yeah. one. I think for me, big that's pun, that's for me. Big pun number two. Big pun, but, number yeah, two. we could go. Okay. Big, big pun's number two for me. But. Big pun is sick, bro. Yeah, yeah. He had like crazy bars. So. Yeah, and being Latino too. Yeah, you and know, being I'm Latino. Puerto Rican, yep. I'm Puerto Rican and Mexican, so it's like being yep. Latino was like hell yeah. Yeah, you know, my family's from Brooklyn, so it's like they would come over with big pun CDs and Noriega and all that. See, shit. I, I kind of wish I had some kind yeah. of a background like that. Like someone shot me some East Coast rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. nah, it was definitely it was definitely dope. You yeah. know what I mean? Because we didn't hear that shit. Back yeah. in the day, you had CDs. Yeah. So it's like, if you got a CD from the East Coast, it was like, fuck, I'm going to bump this shit. Like, Facts, bro. Big Al came over. I was like, yo, this shit hard. 
So, but yeah, that shit. A lot, a lot of good yeah. shit came from the East Coast, West Coast. But okay, I dig I, it. I guess I was getting like, um, but that's H Town, crazy because SPM is like Houston. And shit. Yeah, I don't know. But whoever gave it to I, whoever, me, the homie yeah, shot it to say. me. He was like, "Hey, we check this shit out." Yeah, that's and I wild. listened to it, and then from then on, I was like, "Yep, I'm gonna fucking rap." And now you're working with artists like and yourself and bigger have, artists, right? You have Jenny Sixty Nine. Uh, yeah, right? yeah, I've I've yeah. recorded some of her songs. Yeah. I've been. Uh, Fucking with her, she's cool as fuck, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. she's real cool. She like, like she got good energy and shit. Yeah, like that. she really do. She's yeah. like, that's the homie, real shit, bro. She's okay. cool as fuck. Yeah. yeah, I see you guys post, and it's, it's a Riverside thing, right? Yeah, bro. Yeah, like, it's an IE thing, yeah, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay, definitely. that's Riverside, tight, man. man. Like, that's what I'm saying. Everything's gonna transfer over. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, literally, bro. And I feel damn like damn near it's everybody's happen. moving out to the IE. Yeah, you know what I mean, because it's fucking prices and shit yeah, so yeah, yeah. eventually you know yeah. you guys will have some a foundation that maybe you started or be a part of mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying which is dope so how does that you know going back to the content thing how does all that relate to like you know shooting content and like after you developed you being an engineer right and you're an artist yeah i went i went to school because i wanted to learn how to mix okay right because i i was so when did, bro when, i was recording off of a freaking i broke a broomstick mm -hmm. i put a fucking stage mic, wrapped it with tape, and I put a sock on the fucking mic oh, so shit. it won't get any pops. Okay, you put it on pop filter. Yeah, basically. Got you, got you. And I was recording off this shit called the fucking wave, wave something. It was some shit. It was like... Sound waves or no? I don't know, bro. Oh, it was like... like that. It was crazy, though, because it was like... Uh, you could put in the MP3, the MP3 file... Uh -huh. And just record right over it. I didn't know how to mix. I don't know how to do nothing. I'm just recording my vocals over it. Got you. And it was that's how I recorded. That's how you and, started mm -hmm, in Damn. high school. That's dope. Mm -hmm. That should be happening like that, bro. You got to start with what you got to work with what you got. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously, I worked with Eleven Track. That was my first recording. Eleven Track. Eleven Track. I uh, see. Even then, yeah. I psh, wh where yeah. is it? Analog. You gear just have Eleven like, Tracks. Analog. Yeah, analog. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, I never yeah. had anything like that. Yeah. I just had a computer. Yeah, okay. So you were always digital. Yeah, always digital. Uh, okay. That's all I had. Got you. Yeah. Uh, before Pro Tools and all that before shit. Before Pro Tools, exactly. That's right, that's right. When yeah. did you realize like that content was important? Like shooting videos or shooting content Shoot. for your stuff? Right. Um, I feel like right after I graduated from uh, the recording school. Oh, yeah. Cause How I, long ago was that? Or when did you graduate? This was, this was 2012. Uh, we're in 2023 now, so this is like... Oh, shit. This is like a decade and... No, like a decade, bro. Damn, so you must yeah. have a gang of videos. Nah. <laughs> so damn. He said all oh, nah. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I uh, don't, but... Um, it was important, but... Okay, we're going to get to that. That's, it's that's important. Good. Why? Because I just didn't want to just film anything. Mm. Like, I just wanted to, it to be, like, perfect. Oh, shit. I'm so into the... the that's the hard part. Having to be perfect, bro. Yeah. Like, that's I just, the hard part. I just... Uh, with videos, like even but perfect doesn't exist. I know you it's know just I mean? we're so aiming for it to be yeah like quality, bro. Quality guys to be there. The shoot, the scene, the if you're gonna have people in there, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So it kind of like I went through an era where I was like trial and error. Even though I was making music and yeah. putting it out there, yeah, it was more like I know I could be better. And like today, I feel like today I am. Mm -hmm. Like I'm like to the point where I'm just doing videos now. Okay. Like like I have songs lined up to where like I like this song, I like that song, I want to do it to this one, gotcha. that one. You know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you'll see more videos out of me coming in, into the next year. Dope, dope. So yeah. that's those are kind of like obstacles that you learn from. Like like exactly. being like nothing's ever perfect. Yeah. You know, and we got to put this content, especially in the time right now where content is king, content is everything, you mm -hmm. know, as far as like being an entrepreneur that you are, mm -hmm. being an artist that you are, you need video work and you need to work with these directors to like knock your shit out. Yeah. Because you have a vision in your head and it's like, yo, I'm waiting for this to be perfect and it's like never going to be like that. Mm -hmm. So 12 years later, you say you don't have so much videos. Yeah. But you're like, shit, now you realized it. Yeah. You're like, yo, I learned from that. This mm -hmm. is, this, I need to fucking... Just drop shit. Just drop shit. Yeah, it's bro, never gonna be right. It's bro. never gonna be right. It's exactly. never gonna be right. You just got. But I feel like I've I've mastered my craft. That. Yeah. Enough oh. to start dropping shit. Like whether if it's like, you know, I'm not clipping. That's what I don't want. I don't want to clip in my mm -hmm. freaking songs. Yeah. You know, like that's what I've been like trying the little to learn. Stuff. Like compression is off your 
you're distorting. It sounds bad. Like, yeah. Don't even put it out there because. Yeah, but you know you, what I mean. Yeah, you gotta. You, you, you still gotta that. just drop shit. You gotta drop it. shit because honestly, like, mm -hmm. my lady be saying the same shit. Like, I be saying the same thing, and my lady be like, "We ain't even hearing that." Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like the content, or if you shoot a flies video or whatever, some clickbait or some this and that. Yeah. They ain't even hearing that, bro. They don't hear the compression is too much. They don't hear. As long as it sounds good to them, they good. As long as they could dance to it, they straight. You right, know what I'm saying because it, it, at the end of the day, music it's oh, supposed they can to make vibe you to feel it. exactly. So I always look at it like that kind of example is like the X X I mm -hmm. think it is right. His sound engineering was whack. Gotcha. Like the quality was like not there, mm -hmm. but it was a feeling. It was the content he was delivering. It was his style. It was real right. grungy. He was so, raw. So it fit it. He you was know what I'm saying? It, it yeah. fit the music. Uh -huh. So I feel like yeah, don't even overthink that shit. You know what? So. You know, deciding on like who to work with when you're you're shooting videos and stuff like that, or mm -hmm. like you want the videos to be perfect because mm -hmm. I'll, I'll you want everything perfect. Yeah, yeah bro, it's just not gonna I happen. Feel that. You know what I mean? I feel but that's that. good to hear yeah. that you're gonna start working like yeah. more videos and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Do you have every anybody like that you plan on working with, or you want to work you? with, or? Oh, I appreciate <laughs> that. <laughs> I appreciate that, bro. You for I sure. I appreciate that. Hell yeah. So like, uh, you know, like my my budget has been, you know, like kind of low right mm -hmm. now because of everything that I've invested into like recording equipment. Yeah, for like sure. Like a freaking laptop I just bought for like fucking bro, I, don't I think even we talked about this it, four or five racks. Yeah, bro, I don't even want to say I think it, like, the one I'm eyeballing right now like, is about that price. Yeah, like why? Why'd you even do that? You need to, but bro. like it's like fuck, bro, it's like an investment. one day like it's going to come in. Right now I'm not using it, bro, cuz it's so new. Uh -huh. The the equipment is so new the that you have to have these plugins updated for oh, it to be yeah. used inside. Yes. That's how they gain us. I feel to it. To be used in the laptop. Like yeah. All, my computer, that my iMac, yeah. that's how I'm still mixing and mastering. Because oh, it has shit. all my shit. It has all my plugins, So you would have, you probably, what, use Waves and stuff? Yeah, yeah. I use Waves, okay. uh, Isotope. I use uh, my Wavelab Pro. And you got to update all that? You got to update Ozone, everything. Ozone, everything. everything, bro. Shit. So it's going to cost me. I mean, it's not going to be a lot, but it's still going to It's gonna be like maybe and, 600, 700. And what sucks about shit like that now is everything's moving to subscriptions. Yeah. So it's but, like, you know, you got to pay for the Wave subscription. You can't buy them individually. I'm on so Pro Tools like, subscription on my laptop. Same here. I'm on the Pro Tools yeah. subscription. Yeah, like, what yeah. the fuck? Yeah, Even sucks. though I would love to buy it, but it's like, yeah. I mean, if it's like, a subscription now, fuck it. I'll just pay monthly. Yeah, but that's the thing about it. Just subscriptions. It's like, man. This yeah, yeah, yeah. You start up. reaching up. You start I'm reaching like, out. Like, fuck. damn, I could have just bought that shit already. Mm. Like, damn. No, I feel it. It's a, it's a little lease, you know. But the thing yeah. is, if you're making money off of it, it's, it's all it, good. It, it you you pay uh, for it. It's back. paying for itself. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? So that's that's the thing. Um, how important you think is the relationship between like a, a picking a director? And and or you know being an artist picking a director how how do you how important is the relationship between that I feel like it's real important why because the chemistry you gotta kind of like well if the first of all if the video director is kind of not feeling you then you kind of don't even want to work with them that part you know what I mean other it's other because it's just a transaction going on that part that you know part, what I mean yeah. but. If if you guys rock with each other mm -hmm. and you guys have a good vibe mm -hmm. and you guys are just like all right, I guess ideas bounce back a lot better for sure rather than just like no this is how it's gonna go and it blocks you out for sure you know for sure so like if if there's a chemistry between you guys like if there's a good vibe you guys are freaking homies at that too yep. like you end up becoming homies yeah it's like that that's what really makes the difference in between you can uh, see it in the product too yeah 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 you can see it in your uh in your work no definitely. for sure yeah i couldn't agree with you more because i mean i've been i've been with directors too they're like you know want to hurry up they want to rush it they don't yeah. they don't even want want to give like insight you know what i mean i'll be uh -huh. like hey bro you think we should get this shot uh, it's up to you. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, I, I think we got well, enough. I, I, I kind of want. I want you to say something. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. Some feedback. Yeah, yeah. Give me something. You're a creator, bro. Yeah. So it's like let's 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 create. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times the artists don't even know what they want. Bro, me. You know what I'm saying? I'll wing it. I wing it, up. bro. I'd be like, 
Fuck it, bro. You gotta, leave, go it, film you over gotta here. leave it into the hands of the director. Yeah. And you trust your team and everything you exactly. got going on like that. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Like for for example, like this setup. Like mm-hmm. I'm on this side of the camera. Mm-hmm. I'm trusting my team that everything's recording right. Everything's sounding everything's right. Everything's good. You know exactly. what I'm saying? So you kinda gotta put that trust. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Shout out to the team. Yellow Shout take, out to the team. Shout out to the yellow tape team. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so um you gotta be able to do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta put trust in people and and I have an insight on what I can say from this side, and then they I, I give them um, creative freedom you know what I'm saying but right. like, hey what you think you know what I'm saying so um, I definitely think it's a great like it gotta be a great collaboration bro like mm-hmm. the energy like you you know I've worked with you I worked with you as being an artist yeah you know what I'm saying Both. like we have a, a music video together that we'll probably get into in a little bit yeah you know mm-hmm. um, as being an artist I don't know have I ever shot anything for you Nah, that would have been, we, been cool yeah that we, been, we, have, we haven't worked together I, we gotta, I still we gotta want to like that's that in the work like I'm gonna pick a song and I'm gonna be like, "Hey, bro, shoot this shit." Yeah. yeah. No, we definitely got to put that at work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And however, we got to make it work. Let's make it work. Yeah. Because I told you definitely. that family one. I think yeah. we are gonna play that right now. You yeah. got a couple joints you want to show the people? Um, and it talk was, about. It was just uh, those two videos, which is uh, it's cool for now. I'm I'm dropping a video this Friday. Let's see what we got. So. Which one you want to play? You want to share? We might as well start off with the one we did, since we were t- left yeah. off on that. Run that one. It's right there. And I'm not doing a shameless plug right here. You know what yeah. I mean? This, <laughs> this, this is not. You know what I mean? Plan. This is just dope. This is just dope. Um, as me as an artist, um, the homeboy LA Icon shot this. Yeah, shout out, shout out to LA Icon. Shout out Icon. First time I ever worked with him, and now he's like everywhere. Big podcast. Yeah, everything. he's a big podcast guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'll see you on Thursday, bro. Hey, let's go. Let's see. Um, yeah, so we did some acting right here, right? Yeah. We did some acting. Some acting. and uh, A lot of your videos, I think you do a little bit yeah, of acting, bro, right? Yeah, bro. I don't know why. I guess I just like the feel of it being like a story. No, for sure. You know? That's like, dope. I don't know. That's just me. No, same, I, same here. I'm so trying we, not to do that a lot because yeah. people are nowadays, they just scroll, bro. Yeah. Even the vid- oh, even videos nowadays. Yeah. People like, just, this would be too long nowadays. Yeah, this would be too long. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so you... So you so, so you got to capture them on the quickness. Cut out. You know what I mean? You're back up. All right. We're good. Oh, yeah, cool. It's, yeah. You got to capture it on the quickness. Damn, man. I right look here. all young right here and shit. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like, But we we did this at the old studio. Yeah, this at, was the at old the studio. studio I had in yeah. Covina um, with the homie right there, 100. With uh, we were out there. Everybody brother. there at the music video was a vibe too, bro. Everybody was chill as fuck. Yeah, that shit was a vibe, bro. I think even King Cash came out right there. Um, yep, posted right there. We were just vibing out, bro. Everybody was chill, bro. No, it was a good shoot. I kind of did his thing. Yeah, I kind of did his thing. Facts, Actually, bro. when I seen him shoot on the same camera that I shoot on, I was shooting on the A7 III at that time. Okay. So when I seen him shoot on that camera, mm-hmm. and his shit looked a lot better than mine. Uh huh. You were so tripping out. I was like, man, like, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? Yeah. Like, how do I make my shit look like that? Yeah. So I found out that I was shooting S-Log, and I was uh-huh. underexposed. So uh-huh. it was, like, super grainy. For all my tech guys out there, they know what the hell I'm talking about. Oh, shit. It was, like, underexposed, and it was super grainy. So I had to do some more research to figure out how to shoot like that. But he did his shit, and I give him that. Shout out to the homie that came through. With the truck? With the truck, bro. Yeah, he came through. With- <laughs> That looked like an IE truck. Whatever that means. That's clickbait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, yeah, that shit was cool, bro. It was a good time, man. That shit was solid. That shit was good. So, no, nah, and that was a good collaboration. You know what I'm saying? I mm-hmm. felt like the energy was right. I mm-hmm. felt like the song we did was good. Yeah, great. even hitting you up, bro. Like, you surprised me. You were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do this. 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 Yeah, 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 let's do it. Like, yeah. let's do it. Yeah. You know, and it was my first time reaching out to somebody outside of uh, your network. My whole network, exactly. Like, yeah. you're out there in Covina, I'm yeah. over there in uh, Riverside. Yeah. And it was like, fuck it, let's do it. Yeah. Like, fuck it. Like, you're cool. You seem cool. Like, fuck it. That's how do we even, and, and then I don't we, even know if we met that. Yeah. We, I think that's the first time first we met, time we bro. Met right there, huh? Yeah. That's how it works, yeah, bro. bro. Literally, bro. That's crazy. And that's how we and met. That's each how other. the internet could work sometimes. Yeah, you know bro. what I mean? Facts. Like, you can tell somebody. More or less, you know what I'm saying? Who's real and who's who's fake? You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Online, even if you're you online, you get vibes from people. for nah, sure. for sure. You get. I mean, even the way they text or the way what they post and mm-hmm. all that kind of shit. Yeah. It's like okay, you this is a real about. one. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes yeah. they get you. 
Sometimes yeah. you be like, damn, I thought that. Yeah, you never know. Them. You never know. Sometimes but you never know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But you gotta go off that, like, like you said, looking at people's posts. Exactly. Yeah, like, see who, where they're posting. Like, what are they saying? Yep. Like, exactly. Yep. And see what they're about and shit exactly. like that. I don't even know how we came across each other, but yeah, I it don't must even, have been online. Me either. It's for sure online, yeah. bro. Like, <laughs> it had to be. I mean, it was online. Like may, maybe but, uh, Instagram. Yeah, for sure. Instagram. You know? Somewhere around Because I was like Maybe looking at one of your videos Oh you were doing videos okay. And I was looking for a video guy okay. Maybe that's how There it is Right like, It could have like, been But it. I know I know this was like Around the first one we did bro I mean the first The first one we met on uh -huh. You know what I'm saying That's yeah. just crazy bro That's crazy how it works See you could become homies bro On the line man Yeah that's Just true. gotta Just gotta pick and choose the right ones Definitely bro <laughs> Definitely I get you. Hell yeah Nah but that shit was definitely dope uh, We have another one right here I think this one right here, I want to shoot a video to mm -hmm. this one right here because yeah. the song is dope. Uh -huh. There's no audio right here, man, but you could tap in later on with my boy's Instagram, dope, um, dope. his YouTube channel, and all that good stuff because mm -hmm. this act this song is actually dope. Mm -hmm. um, it might be the family one, right? Yeah, it's the family one. I like it. I got a family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's something I can relate to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then, because um, you be kind of doing like the, the, the rap singing type stuff too, right? Yeah, yeah. So, I like auto-tune. Yeah. And, and, and it the, should be working that shit. Kid Ink is dope to me. It so should be working that shit. That's low-key where I be getting in front because I kind of got inspired by Kid Ink to rap like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hell yeah, that's dope. Well, this one came out cool, man. And is this one shot? Because I know you work tight with uh, your homeboy, right? Yeah, my homie... Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, my homie Mario... Okay. Mario so Cabillo. Mario shot this one? Yeah, Mario shot this so one. So Mario been working for a minute. Excuse me, for a minute too. Yeah, he he's uh he's getting better, bro. Shout out to no, Mario, he's definitely bro. Definitely getting better. We got to bring him on as a as a shooter. Yeah, sometime, definitely, you know what I mean? Yeah. So y'all could collaborate, y'all, you know. No, chop for, it up, you know. For sure. Smoke if you guys smoke. He likes smoking. Oh, okay. So well, he he could puff yeah. up on. Yeah. You know what I mean? So let's see, let's see. Let's blow this up. Yeah, look at my guy looking all mad young and see how long ago did you shoot this right here? Oh fuck, bro. I know it was years ago. What kind of camera did he shoot it on? Oh, what do I want to say? A Sony. Sony? Yeah. yeah Sony gang. That's what it is, bro. Sony gang. Yeah, the Sony. I don't think he's ever shot with a cannon. No, you could tell like this is the older one, you know uh -huh. what I mean? And I yeah, I've he ended I've up seen, buying another one. I've seen his work lately, so uh -huh. I know it's one of those, like how I started off, I could show you some old stuff, bro, like, mm -hmm. and I'm just like, damn. Like, why? There was so much <laughs> more I could have did. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? There's so, but those are things, those are things that you got to learn and go through the process of, you know, mm -hmm. you got you to gotta try it, bro. You know what I mean? Like, this here, it ain't going to be perfect, mm -hmm. but we're going to learn it and we're going to get better at it and better at it and better at it. And right. You eventually get, look back and like, damn, I came a long way. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Like. That's that's the dope that's part. That's why I'm here, bro. Like, you know, yep. go along for the journey too, you know? No, for sure. Yeah. What do you feel like? Uh, do you feel like these kind of things, like, how do you feel about vulnerability as far as, like, putting your shit out there? Sh creating content and oh, putting your stuff if, uh, out there. People's feedback, I guess? Well, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We all feel vulnerable at times. You'd be mm -hmm. like, damn, is someone going to like this shit? Is someone mm -hmm. going to really dig this shit? Because I posted things where I'm like, I don't even want to post this shit. I'm mm -hmm. like, I create it and then I sit back and I'm like... Nah, I ain't gonna post this shit. Oh, right. You know right. what I'm saying? And then I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Who cares what people say, right? And then a lot of times I post that kind of stuff and like those are the ones that take off. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones that people engage with a lot more because I feel like it's a vulnerable situation. Mm -hmm. I feel like they see you being vulnerable. They see you like maybe you know, uncomfortable or you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Feeling like you ain't in your in your pocket. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, this he's at least he's doing it. Right. And then there's gonna be the ones that are gonna be like this fool trying too much. This fool was looking whack. This fool, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So how do you feel about vulnerability as far as like looking back on this old stuff? This song is crazy, bro. And I wanted to put it out because it was uh, obviously the hook says like family a bunch of fucking times. Mm. But <laughs> the point was is that it was everything that's going on right there, bro, is literally that's that was my family. Okay. My great, bro. Nice. Like. I don't know if whether I should have just said that, but everything Beep. is just real. <laughs> everything is just real. Like it's I being can cut filmed, that if you, you want. Yeah. yeah, everything's just real, and it's like um, I wanted to capture like all like real shit. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like I didn't care what anybody said. Mm. You know, like I feel like what I say in the song too. Like I talk about me growing up in this in this environment where. 
it's almost like chaos. Mm -hmm. And that one day I wanted to have, a, I want to have a family. Yeah. So like, I got to make it to where I get up out of, out of that situation. Yep. Yep. So I have my second verse ends up talking about how I have friends that are in the same situation, but in worse situation where they're like gangsters. They, they became gangsters, hmm. like thugs, and, and, you know, started game banging. Yeah, street shit. And it's, yeah, like street shit. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, it makes you want to go crazy and kill yourself. But at the end of the day, you got to, you know, survive for your family, bro. Mm -hmm. So it's basically about, it's all survival. Got you. Like surviving, surviving your environment. And for your family. For your family. Mm. So it was yeah. like, basically, that was the, to summarize the song. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because I did hear the hook a lot, you know yeah. what I mean? But I, yeah. I, I seen where it was going when, yeah. I, when I was visually. I wanted to be more visual for yeah. the song. That's why I felt like like it needs that mm -hmm. in a little bit more depth. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. bring it back to a little bit more depth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I could definitely see that too, like adding more stuff. But yeah. we just did that on a one-day run, like, yep. like it, and this is what we thought of. And no, for sure. That was it. Oh, for sure. I mean, like same two thing, hours like budget, too, because budget yeah. but, but is budget an issue for you? Like... Budget is tough, bro. Like yeah. right now, because just, of me investing in my equipment, yeah. like that's like high key, what's really been holding me that down oh. off of putting content, mm -hmm. me as an artist. Yeah, you know, like if you your gotta, budget was a little higher, you would probably put out more content. Definitely hiring more directors and yeah, stuff like that. I'd probably have a bunch of more videos. Is that what like um, is that what like um determines on who you pick as far as like shooting videos like a, a director that does budget have kind a, of yeah kind of yeah because i mean because i mean i know that's your that's your boy right uh-huh yeah and, and that's of my course homie, yeah. you, you guys want to build together of mm -hmm. course i believe in you him, know which is why i have him film exactly my, my videos oh but there is like even for me like i'll go to certain engineers or certain things and i'll be like i want to go them and they're not my boys mm -hmm. but they they're, they're a certain rate and i'm like damn yeah. I want to get that guy. Yeah. But I'm like, fuck, I don't know if it fits in the budget right now. I feel that 100%. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I want to like, work with him, but I'm like, damn. Like, I wish I, mean? I wish I could work with Mike Dean. You okay. You know what I mean? Travis Scott's engineer. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. He, have him mix my whole oh, shit. Oh, yeah. I mean, hell yeah. You know? Like, I wish I could do that, but I'm pretty sure that's probably not in my fucking budget. Oh, yeah. Not you know? yet. Not yet. Exactly. Not yet. You're going to get there. Yeah. You know? So, I guess, yeah, budget is a thing, you know, for artists that are coming up because... There's a lot of people we want to work with, but we ain't got it like that. So we work with the homies, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Try to Definitely. inspire them, you know. And Definitely. I'm sure you still kick them down a little bit to help him out. Yeah, I do. I do. You yes. know what I'm saying? Just That's not, a Mando. Just not as much, yeah. That's a Mando. No, for sure. Yeah. Like, he, he kicks me down shit, too. Yeah, it's so, a mutual thing, you yeah. know, because at the end of the day, like I always tell the homies when they come over here and record, mm -hmm. their help, it's their investment. Mm -hmm. because they're coming back right here, especially the close ones. It's just going to be full circle. Right. Because what, what is it going to do? It's going to be provided, you know, to go back into the service I'm giving them as mm -hmm. far as getting new plugins, getting new equipment, buying new camera gear, buying all this. So we're all keeping it in the same family. Right. You know what I'm saying? You shoot me some money. You know I ain't out here checking off. Mm -hmm. You know, if the homie out here checking off and doing all kinds of stuff. But if you see... As you grow, you got your new laptop. As you grow, you got new plugins. As you grow, you got new equipment. It's Facts. like... I'm gonna support the homie. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Shot him a little yeah. 500 real quick. That yep. we went to buy a new drone. My video is gonna be even more fire later on. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like Facts. so, so it's all just gonna come back around. And if he's as passionate as you think he is, and mm -hmm. and what he shows, mm -hmm. he's gonna just want to get better. Yeah. Because you could buy all the equipment, you could buy everything you have, but yeah. it's really the person working the shit. And exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like exactly. all the little details, overexposure, all the little details of editing and all that kind of stuff. We could go a whole list of yeah. like what we do behind the scenes right. As, right. As, as content creators, you know what I'm saying? But it's it's artists like you that see people like that and support them. You know what exactly. I'm so what would be some of the key factors going into like picking a director? Um, obviously, we talked about budget. Budget's a key factor, Budget's right? Budget's one, yeah, for sure. Um, we also talked about being relatable. Mm -hmm. we talked about being understanding, understanding you know, communicating, with each other. Uh -huh. and, and creating content together. I feel that not 100%. just one track, right? Hundred percent. But I guess quality. Yeah, quality. Right. Yeah. And um, having a vision. The vision. Um, I would say how he edits the video. Mm -hmm. Like, is the it editing in sequence? Is a big, editing is a big thing. It's a sequence, like smooth yeah or it's just like 
does he does he understand how the how the song is supposed to be portrayed? when it comes in when it comes out when yeah. it cuts yeah like is is he like in sync with the video like mm-hmm. with with like your lips and everything the music oh, you know okay, the music yeah. like I feel like all that, that like, shit makes for a me too, too yeah like really like choose some somebody his transitions got to be smooth his uh idea of the video how it's being shot like nighttime or daytime like he got to pick it out too like yeah because he knows his equipment equipment that's dope you know yeah actually you brought up a good point right there because um telling the story yeah is a tough part shooting the story is mm-hmm. one thing but telling the story in editing room is a, is a whole different thing exactly you know and, and nobody mentioned that so far on this podcast and it's like Mm-hmm. That's that's actually a big key right there because a lot of editors are overlooked for being able to tell a story. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Can you can you create engaging content? Can you keep the audience in tune? Mm-hmm. Does it hit when he says a certain phrase? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm my not point. always saying like yo talk about my shoes and then show the shoe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like because yeah. in the beginning stages, I feel like that a lot of directors editors do that like uh, show the shoes. You know. It's, it's but but of- it's like more of like use it in a different way. You know, show something that still tells the story, but not being so obvious. Oh, shit, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. kind of like telling it, like, um, how can I say? More like a discreet way, you uh-huh. know what I'm saying? But engaging with the story. And, uh-huh. and like you said, fades too, because a lot of these editors, like, a lot of run and gun things, though, uh-huh. when they go run and gun shooting, it's like editing, like, crazy ass effects and shit like that. Yeah, bro. Like, I, like, I, I, I feel like, like they got to like make it. sense. It, it, no, it's dope. Yeah, it's dope. But like, too much of it, it I, it's sometimes I too much. It. Yeah, it's just too much. It's like they say, uh, they say uh, less is more, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. That's what they be saying, like. Yep. And it's and it's true sometimes, bro. Yep. I don't want my shit to be looking all crazy, even though like some of the track is somewhat of a more hype vibe. Mm-hmm. But sometimes I kind of like bring them back down, you know, yeah. like bring bring the whole uh, vibe down a little bit, not to where like it's like dry. It's more like. Maybe I'm like not so violent, not so or, oh, or violently you, rapping crazy. Yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. More smooth now. Well, because like you said, you tell stories. Yeah, exactly. I feel like that goes with your music too. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, I think Russ was one of the ones, or I forgot who I heard say that stuff. But like when they go into um, making music, they think mm-hmm. about the visual already. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. there you go. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if you go into it like already going in making the music visually, you already have the music video done. Right. You no, know what true. I'm saying? That's if how I go about perf- my songs, too. If you're performing your song, you're like, that, yeah. shit, this, I already shot this video. Mm-hmm. It's already in my head. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's as a director. Like, every time I hear songs, bro, I'm just like thinking like, damn, this will be dope mm-hmm. as a video. This, I'm always thinking like, because music is supposed to make you feel something. Music right. is supposed to make you visualize something. Mm-hmm. So as a director and shooter, that's exactly the kind of shit that goes through my head. You know what I mean? I agree. I agree. I, you you uh, said that perfectly because I would have said the same thing, bro. I would have been like... Yeah, man. When I'm writing a song, I like to picture what I'm doing in the video. Mm-hmm. You know, like, am I at a club? Am I, yeah. you know, at the backyard kicking yeah. with the homies? Or yeah. am I, you know, at a video shoot drop mm-hmm. where it has the Lola writer in the back or yeah, yeah, yeah. chicks and all that? You know what I mean? Yeah, because then now you're giving people a visual, giving them audio, and mm-hmm. now you're giving them a visual because people out there are doing that shit. Same shit you're doing, they doing. Yeah, exactly. They're just doing it on their side. Facts. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Hell yeah, fool. So what are some of the obstacles and experiences that you got through, you know, good or bad, you know mm-hmm. what I mean, that motivated you to keep on going? For sure it was the um, riding my bike and doing the whole trip to You wanted school. to get a car. Yeah, and get in the <laughs> you car. You wanted to get a car. Yeah, bro, that was definitely an obstacle. Yeah. Definitely. That um, is. That's determination, though. That's know, being hungry. Like going out there and... I I, pr- I did it more so for myself, like knowing that I could do it. You got know? you. Like... It could it could be done, and then and you graduated. Yeah, I graduated. Okay. I came back, and even though I didn't get that internship, I still made it happen for myself. As far as having my own recording equipment, recording myself, recording the homies, you know, just doing what I wanted to do. Yeah. In the first place, which was record. Yeah. You know, make music. Yeah. Yep. That's dope. So that's one so of them. I, I felt like that was. So that's kind of what motivated you to. Right. You know, keep pursuing this. Yes. Uh, there's another thing too. Um, one of my homies passed away when I was in high school. Um, I threw a party, and he got shot. Oh, okay. And uh, he 
was always coming over to my house and I would rap mm-hmm. and he'd be right there with me and he's like, bro, let me hop on a verse. Yeah. Let me write some lyrics, you know, let me do this. Oh, and I'm like, yeah, bro, fuck it. Just yeah. do it. You know, just yeah. like, here's a beat, you know, okay, and just you. write to it. And, um, he didn't come, it didn't come to the part where he ended up recording anything with me, but mm-hmm. he, he passed away. Oh, I and, um, yeah, that was another thing too, bro. I do it basically for the most part. I felt like I, I'd be doing it because of him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cause he was always like real supportive, bro. And he was always telling me like, don't stop. Hey, you know, man, and, we need and, to hear that shit. You know, like, yeah. And when someone, it was a crazy night that night, bro. But yeah, yeah that's like one of the, okay. One, so one motivated thing. you. And then those are kind of things that still motivate that you, right? That still motivate me every day. I wake up, think about the whole situation and everything. Bro. What what else would still like motivate you as far as like, my son, for sure, content. bro. Like, I feel like my, my, my son is, uh, <clears throat> like I, I got this far. I feel like I want to show it to my son. For you know? sure. Maybe it'll inspire him. There you go. Or inspire somebody. Yeah. You know? Yep. I want to inspire somebody out here. Yeah. It'd be it'd be cool to see someone be like, "Yo, bro, off of this song, um, I overcame this, and this is the outcome of it." And thank you. Yeah. You know. No, I agree with that. So th- that would be one thing. And that's 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 actually one reason why I actually you know wanted to start the podcast too to inspire others to be like, "Shit, we could do this shit too." Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and we could do it good. Mm-hmm. You know, and and if whatever they take any lessons from any of this or anything, any content that I've done or any content that you do, as long as you can inspire one person to inspire the next person to inspire the next person, mm-hmm. we straight. I, you right. know, I feel like that. No, you yeah, know what I'm saying I feel Definitely. like that. That that's it's, the goal. It's, it's inspiring people, basically. That's the fucking goal. You know what I mean? Um, you've been doing this thing for a while, though, man. Yeah. You feel like age time. is a factor. Age is. Uh, you feel like you feel like age is a thing. I, I've heard. A bunch of artists like pop off at thirty five, you know, yeah. forty, you know, especially but he, nowadays. He, even, even like, not even in the music field, like artists like that are like, not artists like actresses or actors. You know, some people don't make it in the film scene until they're like fifty, sixty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, they play an old role, but yeah. they still made it. Yeah, they made it to where like they're set for life. Yeah, off of a film. Yeah, yeah. You know, like even though it took them that long, they still, you know, they yeah. didn't stop. They, it was a passion thing. Yeah, you know, it, like, it all it starts with the passion. I feel like that. Like music shouldn't have to have an age like that. Like, yeah, especially for us, like rappers and shit. Like yeah. they'd be like, "You need to stop, bro. You're fucking like 30." You know what I mean? Man, you be hearing that shit a lot. But bro. it's not like, about that. I feel like it's more about like obviously what you rap about. Like, you're not just going to keep rapping about being in the club yeah. and having a bitch shake your ass, you know? Yeah, exactly. You're going to rap about your life, bro. Yeah, like, no, for sure. I feel like that. Like, as long as you're rapping about, like, you know, being um, in your day, in your yeah, time, yeah, yeah, your yeah, moment, yeah. like, oh, I, I feel like you'll be all right. No, I yeah. dig it. Because we can't do anything about getting older. Exactly. You can't do shit like, about it, but the content that you create, you can probably, you know, figure that out. I mean, look at look at Toonchi. How how does that feel? Fucking I don't know. I know he's fucking like he's, he sounds young. Forty something. Tucci. Tucci. Who? Lil Wayne. Oh, Tucci. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah Tucci. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> man, that sounds like a, one of them young rappers. <laughs> like, Tucci. Lil Tucci. Uh, Lil Tucci. Man. Okay, Wayne. Yeah, but Wayne's been cracking. I know. Yeah, Wayne's been. He's he, that motherfucker. Been, but still, been it's, on it's it. so, he shows but, but, longevity. But it's something that he's passionate about. Yeah, like he says, like he don't even listen to anything else out there, bro. Mm-hmm. He goes in the studio and hears his own shit, and whether it's it's vibing with what's going on now or not, he's just doing him. Yeah, because he's passionate about it. Definitely. That's, that's yeah. how I feel like with the age thing. It's like to me, it's not really a factor either because we're all gonna get old. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But the passion that I have for it, how you gonna tell me to just to give it up? Yeah, like there ain't no time for that, bro. It's like you know it, I mean? it's not me if if I'm without it, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So that's how I see it. Like I'm always gonna make a song. If not, I'm recording somebody that I participated in that song to make it be that way, where it's quality, you know. Mm-hmm. Nah, that shit. That's just cool though, bro. But it, man, it's been a pleasure talking with you, big dog. Is there pleasure, any? Is pleasure, there... Uh, it's been a pleasure being here. Thank you to uh, Azel for having me. I appreciate the support, 
And uh, yeah, man, I hope the podcast really kicks off and you really do your shit out here, bro. Oh, I, I see a lot that. of potential in the podcast, too. Oh, yeah. You got a good setup, and uh, shout out to everybody that's out here listening. I oh, appreciate y'all, man. Hell yeah. Appreciate you, brother. Yeah, appreciate um, you. Is there any advice you want to kick the people? You know, as far as like going into creating content and, and staying on their hustle? Say, don't give up. Keep, uh, be accepting to feedback, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, creative criticism. You got to take it in sometimes and not just be a sore thumb. You know what I mean? Like, be salty because someone told you, like, maybe you should fix this. Yeah. You should do that. Like, just take it in. If you don't, if it doesn't work out with whatever they say, that's fine. But, uh, yeah, bro, take in feedback. Don't stop. Um, you know, just keep it real, too, bro. Stay loyal to your family, to your people. You know, and everything comes back, bro. Everything comes back good, yeah. positive, you know. It's all love, you know. No, nah, for sure. Full yeah. circle, man. Full circle. Oh, uh, yeah. Where can they catch you at? Definitely, you could catch me at the crib. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. You could uh, catch me on Instagram at underscore sick one nine five one. And uh, my YouTube is uh, sick one. Um, you'll see it. I don't know if they saw it, but. Uh, I think it says sick one. I don't know. I have the brand sick one. <laughs> there then you sick go. One. There you go. Yeah, he got yeah. clothing. He got clothing. He's a barber. Yeah. He does all that. We didn't even get into the barber talk, bro. Yeah, I know. And how important content is for his barber, you know, being a barber. Mm -hmm. I know haircuts sell themselves. Right. You know what I mean? But I feel like if you really want to break through mm -hmm. and you want to do it, you got to create that content. You know what I mean? So Definitely. Content is a big thing. That's what Director Shooter is here for. You know what I'm saying? Once mm -hmm. again, Sick One, I appreciate you, bro. Appreciate um, you for having me. You know what I'm Thank good you. Episode. It was a good episode, man. Once again, man, this is Direct Shooters, where we bring together artists and directors, directors and entrepreneurs, talking about the relationships and the way we build businesses, man. So if you like that, like, subscribe, and comment, man. And we out. Peace. Bra